Hi and welcome back to the countertop and today I'm doing churros from to casa mi casa. Hi and welcome back. And the recipe I'm doing today is from this book, To Casa Mi Casa by Enrique Oliveira. And you probably know him from his restaurant, Puyol, down in Mexico City, which he uh, used authentic Mexican cuisines into fine dining. So it tends to be a very interesting restaurant from everything that I saw. And the recipe I'm doing today is a churros. And as you can see on the last videos of the channel, I'm only doing sweets. I don't know why, but like I think I have a sweet tooth now, or maybe I just getting more interesting to sweet recipes than actually the savory ones. Let me know in the comments which recipes you like to see, so maybe I can change back to savory or keep on the sweets. So please let me know in the comments below. Talking a little bit about the book, the book is separated into different sections that normally we don't see, so of course. You have the basics, then you have food for breakfast, food for weekdays, uh, food for sharing, then you have the sweets, and then finally you have the drinks. Also, I'm gonna put an affiliate link below on the description to buy this book. If you buy this book using my link, I will get some commission back to the channel, but that will won't cost anything for you. All right, so let's go for the ingredients. So here's all the ingredients that we need for our recipe today. For our cinnamon sugar that we're gonna put on top of our fry batter, you're gonna need one stick of Mexican cinnamon and half cup of sugar. And for the batter, you're gonna need half cup of water, a third of a cup of whole milk, two tablespoons of heavy cream, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half cup of all-purpose flour sifted, and four eggs. So let's start doing. So the first thing we're gonna do is the cinnamon sugar. So you get your cinnamon stick and you crush it first. And you're gonna put this into a spice grinder here. I have one that is very, very old, but still works like a charm. So please don't embarrass me now. And you're gonna put these alongside with half of your sugar for the cinnamon. And now you're gonna mix this. And now that you have a very thin powder with it, you're gonna mix together with the rest of your sugar. And here's our cinnamon sugar. The good thing, you can keep this in an airtight container for up to a week, so you can do this in advance if you want to make churros. Also, overall, the whole churros allows you to make in advance up to three days before you actually fry. So it's very good for you if you are planning to have churros with your friends uh, and when you're hosting a dinner, you can make the batter up to three days before and just leave it in the fridge. All right, so let's continue to the next part. So the next part is also pretty simple. So you're gonna get a medium pot and in this medium pot, you're gonna put your heavy cream, your salt, your milk, your water, your sugar, and your butter. And you're gonna mix this and bring it to a boil in the stove, and then we come back, okay? Cool, so now our mixture just boil, so it's here. Now it's time for us to continue. So why is still hot? Let's first start whisking here the flour. You don't need to whisk everything at once, but just to make it easier for you. I also forget to sift the flour. So let me get the sifter. Sorry about that. So let's put a little bit more of the flour here. Sift it first. Cool. Let's continue to whisk. And now that we, we whisk all the flour, it's time for us to add 
our eggs one by one. And you whisk this egg first, get this egg fully incorporated into, and then you whisk the other one. Cool, so now after putting the flour in the eggs in the batter, it probably would look like this, so very, very liquid. So we're gonna put this into a piping bag. And the way I do the piping bag, I normally grab like a large cup. I put my piping bag, I'm using here a medium star tip here, and I'm twisting the bottom so it won't fall off. And I put in here so it will make way easier for us to transfer the batter to the bag. So I still have in my pot half of the batter and I already fill up one of my uh, pastry bags. So I'm going to do another one, but I'm going to save you from watching this. But this now needs to go to the fridge for minimum 30 minutes. And as I said before, for up to three days. So it needs to cool down, it needs to get a little bit cold. So when you put in the oil, it will create that amazing form. Okay, let's put this in the fridge and let's wait some time. So I ended up changing the tip on my pastry bag and ended up like, of course, changing the whole pastry bag here. I'm using the Wilton M1 tip. You can also use the Ateco 84.5 tip. Uh, this is something that I have to browse on the internet because the book doesn't mention anything related to that and I am using another recipe as a reference on these. This is cool now, so and now it's ready for us to start frying. We're gonna fry straight from the pastry bag into the canola oil. I'm heating the canola oil right now to 350 Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Let's see how it goes. Now that the oil is heated, it's time for us to pipe the dough directly into it. Fry the bottom until it's golden brown for something around three minutes. And then you flip the dough and fry the other side until it's golden brown as well. For this time, something around two minutes. After that, you remove and transfer to a paper towel to drain all the oil. Now that we fry our churros here, and I, as you can see, I still need to master the way of pulling the churros, but I think for a homemade, it's pretty damn good so far. Now it's time for us to put our cinnamon sugar into these churros. I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm gonna put some of the churros here, toss a little bit first, then put the rest and keep tossing so we can get like some kind of like constant mixture of these. So here's our churros. Uh, as I said, I did a nail down on the mastering of putting the churros into the pot, but Let's say if they worth the effort and actually if the taste is good because the taste is all that matters at first and of course the look is always helps but taste is more important. Okay, so let me grab one of this piece here. It brings me back a lot of memories from my childhood in Brazil when they have food carts uh, to fry churros and you have like that fresh and you see the crunch, you feel the crunch of the sugar at the same time the dough is a little bit salty but everything it's perfect balance. This is it. Amazing churros, amazing recipe, worth the effort. I probably will do this again. Highly recommend you to try this at home. It's so simple and so easy. I mean, I was, I always thought that making churros was way more uh, heavy intense, but actually it's a very simple recipe. I highly recommend you to do it. Again, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to buy the book using my affiliate book to help a little bit on the channel. It doesn't cost anything else for you, but helps the channel. See you next week. Bye.